This one is from Sky News Australia. Left is losing in Sky News who's confused by Whoopi Goldberg. Welcome to an entire episode dedicated to lefties losing it. Let's start with the monumental and rather bizarre meltdowns in the US over July for celebrations. It seems this Independence Day has really brought out the real loons of America like this mm. delightful woman. Or maybe it's a man or perhaps a they. Maybe you can figure it out. If you are somebody who has been saying free Palestine and is also celebrating 4th of July today, you are being a hypocrite. You cannot be against settler colonialism and genocide while also celebrating settler colonialism and genocide. And the two biggest reasons that people will give me is, oh, it's not about that. It's about my traditions. Well, one, who wants traditions that are based in white supremacy? Two, your traditions are not more important than liberation. The second reason that I always get is, well, it's about freedom. Freedom for who? Not indigenous people, not black people, not disabled people, not queer people, not women. I, who? For who? Disabled Whose freedom people. are you really celebrating besides white, cishet, non-disabled, wealthy men? You're a hypocrite. I mean, wouldn't you love to invite this they, them, she, her, he, him to a party? <laughs> Clearly the life of every celebration. And take mm. a look at this American who says... The American flag makes him feel uneasy until he spots one that's right up his alley. So we're visiting in uh, upstate New York near Poughkeepsie. Lots of uh, farm country. Lots of American flags and Blue Lives Matter flags. As and it should be. It was really making me uneasy. And then we came to this cute little town called Hudson. I guess it's a famous whaling town. I see a lot of flags like this. Totally felt my nerves come at ease. Isn't that interesting? I'm not even gay. Macho, macho man. Wow. Well, there's a door. It's open for you to leave. And imagine being so triggered exactly. by the American flag, you burn it like this woman. I'm not proud to be an American where I know that I'm not free. And I won't no, forget no, no. the ones who took this not be my rights away from me, but I'll gladly stand up. And she's and doing this while in America. In oh, so well, love, if over. you don't think you are living in the land of the free, we'll okay. get you a one-way ticket to Iraq and see how you go over there. Now, it wouldn't be a pride celebration without queers for Palestine, would it? Yes, that old group plucked out of nowhere and really for the people who are just tragically sad and confused. After all, it's a crime to be queer over there, but don't worry, it doesn't apply for the queers for Palestine. Have a look at this transgender man dressed as an Indian woman dancing while waving a Palestinian flag. <laughs> uh -uh. So this is not cultural appropriation. Wouldn't you love to see him belly dance his way onto the Gaza Strip, <laughs> shimmying his way through the enclave? That'll give him a real freedom of expression experience along with this guy. The funny thing is that they can't do this in in Palestine. Shaking even those move. hips draped in a kefi air. I wonder if he would be allowed to shake his hips in downtown Gaza while using that scarf to cover like. his modesty. <laughs> These people are so understimulated. Has anyone ever seen a pride rally in Palestine? Nope. No. Because there are none. Now, if you were ever confused about a person's pronouns, don't know who they are or what to call them, don't worry. This person has got it all figured out. Now, here is a lesson in how many things you can identify as at the same time. 
When I wear this one, uh, it means that I just go by they, them. When I wear these two together, it means I go by she, them. When I wear these together, it means I go by he, them. When I wear all of them, it means that I go by all pronouns. And when I wear these together, it means that I go by she, him. I'm gonna wear them all right now because I go by all pronouns right now. Yes, in the morning wow. I'm a boy, by lunchtime I'm a girl, oh by God. the afternoon I'm no gender, and then by dinner I'm a mix of them all. It's like a lucky dip. The derangement is astonishing. Wow. Now the left is obsessed with being friends and allies of the trans community, except apparently when the tables are turned on them. Beautiful trans women out here, tell us about your transition, how it went. Can I hold this please? No. Um, so I have a question for you. Why are you asking me those questions? Like okay. We're interviewing like trans women and stuff like that. I'm not a trans woman. I'm a. Oh no no, we're we're fully supportive. Do you want to talk about sort of transitioning or anything like that, or like what I people can? I never transition because I was born a woman. No, of course you're a woman. Of course. Uh, does it make a trans woman any no. less of a woman? No, you are 100 percent a woman. Uh, I'm not a trans woman. Is there another definition that people like to use, or? You, you thought I was a okay. man. <laughs> Okay, enlightening okay. that the moment she was called a man she suddenly knew mm -hmm. exactly what a woman <laughs> is they love to latch on like leeches don't they to any cause that makes them feel special and relevant oh but not when the shoe is on the other foot now to the most admirable woman going around jk rowling for not being afraid to speak up about transgender issues and it seems she is living rent free in the minds of men who like to dress like women so it's really sad that she is consumed by this incredibly deep, made-up bigotry. You know, this made-up narrative that causes her to be an obsessed 24-7 person caught up in bigotry. It's like an uncle on Facebook or whatever that's just consumed by this untrue, hateful narrative. And I honestly empathize with Harry Potter fans who are going through that grieving process. And sometimes when someone becomes a complete and utter, total, hateful bigot, you need to let that person go. Yes, Harry Potter fans. The same way they need to let you go. Is it not how, is it not funny how ironic this is? Somebody that is living in pretense is calling somebody else a pretender and a, a bigot. She's not a bigot, she's just saying, uh, which is something. They will not understand. Like, my heart goes out to America. Imagine I get born in the American flag. That's the high height of disrespect for your nation. I understand, you know, feeling displeased about what is going on, but you now demeaning your country by burning the flag. And you not you're not just burning in private, you are doing it so that people will see you. Uh, I wish I wish that we, you know, just pack all of them, eh? Give them freeway tickets. To Gaza, let them go there and display their madness and see how long they will last. Just one day is enough for them. Let that person go. Was that a eulogy? Has someone died? And what's it got to do with <laughs> an uncle on Facebook? Tell me, why are these people so sad? Joe Biden has reached unprecedented levels of what can only appear to be dementia induced cringe. How did he celebrate the 4th of July? with Christmas wishes for all Americans. We give thanks to our commander in chief, the, the president of the United States, the extraordinary president of the United States, nearly said the Joe Biden. Ho, ho, ho. Happy Independence Day. Oh dear. This is a shocking look for someone desperately trying to convince us he is not a potato. And in more tragic scenes, Joe has revealed he is not a man, but a woman, a black woman at that. By the way, I'm <laughs> proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman, mm -hmm. served with a black president. He's also given us a new rendition of the time warp. I'll beat Donald Trump. I will beat him again in 2020. Mm, who's going to tell him, you or I? And to top it all off, the president appeared to descend into some sort of weird trance at a church gathering. Let us stand together. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first 
Like, it's acting like, what is going on here? Why am I here? What? <laughs> He's confused. But I don't feel for this man, though. I feel for him. The totally unhinged, borderline uncomfortable rant from the president of the National Education Association, the largest teachers union in the United States. We will keep going forward because we are the NEA. We are the NEA. We are the NEA. And that's what we do. And what you need to do, Becky Pringle, is be locked up far, far away from children. Oh, that's children. for sure. Now, where exactly. have I seen a tirade like this before? Blood alone moves the wheels of history. <laughs> Never gets old, Dwight Schrute. Now to one of the alleged stars of the Marvel series, She-Hulk, a feminist Disney remake. Yep. We know Disney know how to pick them. Well, actress Tatiana Maslany has blasted a parental rights law which requires schools get consent from parents to change their child's name or pronouns. It should not be the control of the parents whether a child, um, how a child identifies, how a child knows themselves to be. That isn't their, a, a parent's place. It's an overreach. It's an overreach on the part of the, the provincial government to legislate that. It's absurd. No, what is absurd is you, Tatiana. Now, speaking of derangement, oh, the old gender benders. We love nothing more than when they keep coming up with brand new lucrative ways to describe themselves. Uh, you accept that you're a male with other... Yeah, every trans person, every trans woman, I mean, like, is like, yeah, I'm a male woman. Why can't you be a male woman? A male like, woman. That's, that's what y'all don't understand. No, like, yeah, I'm not... I'm, I'm not saying I'm a cis woman. I never said that. I'm just saying I'm a male woman. Just treat me like a woman. A male woman. Cute. It's kind of cute, isn't it? And use flash, a man is a man and a woman is a is woman. A woman. Now, if you are looking for gender neutral terms to call your family members... Looking at that boy, you could see that he's confused. Like, he's reaching all over and something is going on in his head. And instead of them, instead of him to be taken to the hospital where he should be treated, they're indulging him, telling him it's okay, to, you know, to be, you know, running mad. Ah. Good news. This is the help you've been waiting for. Dear Dolly, are there gender neutral alternatives to terms like niece and nephew and aunt and uncle? Yes, there are. A gender neutral term to replace niece or nephew is nibbling. It takes sibling and uses the end from niece and nephew. It was actually coined in 1951 by Yale linguist Samuel Martin. And similarly, we have pibbling, parent sibling, the P from parent, and sibling, pibbling, to replace aunt and uncle. I mean, can you imagine? Please, uh, let me uh, introduce you to my nibbling and my pibbling. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nibbling, could you please uh, stop nibbling and pass the peas, please? And stop nibbling, <laughs> you're on our last nerve. Now over to our friends at The View. What would a lefty's losing it be without Whoopi Goldberg? Well, she's Must back out there more. fighting the good fight for Joe Biden, and she's given the president quite the glowing endorsement. I don't care if he's pooped his pants. <laughs> I don't care if he can't put a sentence together. Show me oh. he can't do the job. And then I'll say, OK, maybe it's time to go. Lucky Joe, what a great advertisement. And look, at this point, Whoopi should have just really stopped talking. But she went on and we heard more about her own uh, bowel issues. I have poopy days all the time. <laughs> all the I step in so much poo you can't even imagine. Well, that explains why Poopy Goldberg is so oh. full of you-know-what. What else would we expect from the same woman who thought Jill Biden was a real doctor? Remember when she said this? I'm hoping yeah. Dr. Jill becomes a Surgeon General. His wife. Yeah, Joe Biden. Joe Biden's wife, because she, you know, she he would never do it, but she, it, yeah, she's a hell of a doctor. She's an amazing doctor. I she's I a just, doctor. 
Ah, they never learn, do they? Now, from one loon to another, MSNBC host Joy Reid has had a mentally deranged meltdown over Donald Trump. If it's Biden in a coma, I'm going to vote for Biden in a coma. I don't even really particularly wow. like the guy. I, a lot of his policy, don't like him. He's not Donald Trump, right? Yeah. Hitler, White House, we keeping him out, keeping Project 2025 out. That's all I care about. Up and down the ballot, from the rooter to the tutor, school board, all the way up to White House and everything in between, governors, members of Congress. I'm just going to vote all the way down to keep these people out. Ah, this woman is clearly broken. I mean, I've been wondering, how far can someone like Joy Reid spiral down? What's her limit? I thought maybe she was already there, but no, she just keeps spiralling. Her derangement knows no bounds. Joe Biden has called in to his friends over at MSNBC in a desperate... Ah, this is so discouraging to watch. Imagine Joy Reid. So this one is even beyond that, that they're working for a, for a company that makes them see all those things on air. Because whether they're on air or they're off air, they are still the same lose mind. Imagine what Joy Reid is saying. Oh, Hitler. You see what I'm saying? They keep calling this man all sorts of names, demeaning him, demonizing him. Why wouldn't the citizen think that he is who they've who they been saying he is? She get it. This, this is how they've been demeaning, demonizing this man, calling him Hitler at every second of the day they get. You see? They are the problem. I wish there, 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 there was a way to hold them accountable for what happened on Saturday. You hear Whoopi Goldberg. How old, old age illness came to her, um, if you ask me. Imagine, I do have a poop day. Ew. Like, ew. Brother, ew. <laughs> God. It's, it's just a shame watching America spiral down like this. Ah, the country where, the country that we used to hold so high, thinking that, oh, they are the be it all. Oh, you guys really need to not chop now more than ever. And I'm so happy that God preserved his life. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.